Action Martial Arts Magazine is a, a wonderful project that we do. It's the world's only free martial arts publication. The only thing that we charge is, is the, um, the uh, delivery fee. Um, it has all the hottest news and uh, information on tournaments and uh, all the big martial arts events that are going on. Uh, people advertise their products through our, uh, our, our magazine and our website. And uh, just, just a fantastic, fantastic organization that runs this event every year, brings all these martial artists together, even in a time where we have such a tough economy, and we're filling our room with over 1,500 dedicated martial artists who come with big names, you know, such as uh, uh, Chuck Zito and Michael Di Pasquale and uh, 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 the Zanos and everybody who comes here to the event every year. Uh, we're just blessed. Uh, Cynthia Rothrock, uh, uh, Don the Dragon Wilson, who was not able to make it this year, apologize for not being able to make it. Okay. Now we know, of course, we're familiar with Action Magazine, but please let everyone know the website, contact information for people who want to maybe uh, watch some of these films that are being screened this weekend. How can we find out? Where can we find out all of this information? Uh, our website is actionmagstore.com. Uh, you can always check on the magazine. Each issue is always up there on the website. Uh, we have an archive of all the past episodes and uh, magazines. Uh, our products are up there, and all the various uh, movies that are going to be uh, done here today will be on our website with the update that's coming out. Uh, if you're ever interested in finding out information on what's going on with Action Martial Arts Magazine, going to our website at actionmagstore.com is the way to do it. Uh, the contact information as far as emailing us, you can email us at alan at actionmagstore.com or ross at actionmagstore.com. And... Um, you know, all of it, you can call us or send mail or whatever, but we always love hearing from our fans. Now, I'm going to put you on the hot seat really quick because I know all of these films that you're screening this weekend are fabulous. But do you have one particular one that you're looking forward to, like the one that you're like, oh, I can't wait to see that one, or any particular stars that you're like, that have inspired you over the years in particular? Besides all of them, of course. Oh, my, yeah, yeah, that's a really tough choice. My, one of my teachers, uh, Michael DePasquale, uh, produced a film called The Cutoff. Uh, it was never. It was never. It was released internationally in other countries, but it was not released here. And it was. It had such fantastic actors in there. Um, Ali Abarigo was in it. Uh, 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 Alan was in it. I mean, there's a whole bunch. Of, I mean, there's a whole bunch of people who were in the film. And um, uh, 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 Joe Lewis was in the film. I mean, about a lot of really great guys were in this movie, and people didn't get to uh, see it. So now he's releasing it more locally here in the United States. Um, I also love the Zenos. They have their film that's out, and, and I, their whole family being involved in the movies. Uh, they're fantastic people. I, I, I want to see their film. Um, uh, I, there are so many people here who are great martial arts actors. Cynthia Rothrock, I just, I just love her. Blonde Fury, we're about to interview her next. She's, you know, I, I, I love Cynthia. Yeah. Not just because she's a fantastic martial artist. I love the fact that I could be watching movies or TV shows and she just sprouts up in the middle of it. I was watching, um, I was watching a, a, a reunion for Dukes of Hazard. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, Dukes of Hazard. He put you on the spot. The Dukes of Hazard. And who pops up in the middle of a movie but Cynthia Rothrock? And she's kicking somebody's butt in, in, the, you know, in the thing. So it was a really, really good scene, but it's just so funny. So on Facebook, I always wind up putting things out there. Like I just had a Cynthia Rothrock sighting, you know, things like that. James Liu, a very good friend of mine. I love James. Whenever I see James, because James is a funny guy. He is the, um, he is the uh, uh, where's Waldo of martial artists. He pops up in every movie. He's always the guy who's dragging somebody out, you know, they're going to beat this guy up, you know, and he brings him out, or there's a bunch of bad guys who are going to be fought, and all of a sudden he's there, and, and I go, hey, that's James, Star Trek, the new Star Trek that came out, he was, uh, he was, uh, um, he was not a Klingon, he was a Romulan in, in the movie, and I was like, really, seriously? He re James is an incredible, versatile actor, he's a good friend, and, and, and like those type of people, they're not standoffish. They make you feel very, they're very approachable. That's, that's the best, yes. That's why I love them so much. Cynthia's become a very good friend over the years. She's made me be, feel very, very, you know, very befriended by her. Same thing with James, many of these guys, just really quality people. And that's one thing I think Alan insists on, is the kind of people that come to this event are of a quality and a caliber that you can count on for that, you to be able to come here and 
be able to be one and one and face the people who you think are just terrific in the martial arts. Very good. Now, you talk about all of these wonderful qualities, and the one thing that I love about martial arts, it's not about just the physical discipline. It's about the mental clarity. It's about emotional, spiritual, and all of that. Now, do you have a code of honor that just strikes you or, like, words to live by that you can also share with our viewers that, have been, that has encouraged you over the years? Absolutely. Absolutely. When training in the martial arts, it is incomplete if you don't have training of the mind, the body, and the spirit. It's not always easy to manage a balance between all those things. We try. I mean, we all try to master all those things. But what I'm trying to say is, is that if you're not, you don't, you don't necessarily be able to master all those things, but if you try to add them to, you strive to it, right? It's like trying to be good in following religion or anything else. You're not necessarily perfect, but trying to get there, the journey is what matters. Um, I myself one day want to write a book about journey up a mountain. And journey up a mountain is a martial arts challenge. And the idea behind it is that it's not about running to the top and saying, I'm at the top. It's about what happens along the way. So martial arts is very much about that. So if you're training your mind by studying the martial arts, by reading books, by interacting with these people and learning about the best way to become the better you. Because martial arts is not about learning how to beat people up. Martial arts is not about being violent. A lot of people misunderstand that. Martial arts is truly about becoming the best person that you can evolve into. And that's great for kids. It's great for adults. It's great for everybody. There are countries where martial arts is mandatory. They make it part of it every day. Here in the United States, they don't do that. And they really should. They should. They really should. It would be better for everybody. Make them a lot smarter to realize, you know, you shouldn't be behaving in a certain way. I think everybody understand that you got to have respect for each other. How many people really understand the meaning of respect and having honor and doing the right thing, even when it's really hard? You know, no one's watching. It's always good to have integrity. That's right. That's right. Because you don't know. You think no one's monitoring, but you know something? People are always monitoring. And God is always watching. So people are always watching. People are always watching. So that's why. That's why we have to conduct ourselves in a certain way. Yeah, yeah. We always try to maintain that. It's not, again, we're not trying to put up any type of facade. But the idea is, is that you, even, even the people who are the masters, they have what to, we all have what to learn. And if you learn from your mistakes, you become a better person. Recognize it, grow from it. That's developing the mind, the body, and the spirit. My name is Sheehan Ross Greenberg, and I'm watching DPTV. At the Action Magazine Martial Arts Film Festival.